This marks the end of my high school year and grade. The end of rock. And this morning when I woke up, instead of thinking of all the things that I wanted to say, the perfect word to so officially close off the past four years of my life, I couldn't come up with anything. And as I reflected to the future of my action, no word that I could ever come up with would be able to truly feel or reflect the way I feel about this trials, or your fire at Joe Biden post his, the U.S.'s invasion of South Africa and the political committee. It's been a pleasure, one that despite my gray hairs and frantic sprinting across the hallways, I would do a thousand times over. And I know that absolutely none of this, none of these 365 days of planning would have been possible alone. First and foremost, I would like to thank Global Attitude the hotel staff, and our technology support, including Mr. Oscar and Mr. Mateusz, whose work here today is the reason why we're all able to enjoy our time. I would like to extend a huge thank you to our Brahmin 2024 LT, our wonderful chairs, Bernardo, Giovanna, Caio, Bruna, Cael, Lucia, Eduardo, Maria Antonia, Luisa, Juhi, Julia, Isabel, Eduarda, Gabriela, Nicole, Gabriela, Manuela, Santiago, Lucas, Alice, Arthur, and our press LT, Uhe, Ana, and Juliana. Your kindness, commitment, and openness was integral to Brahmin's success, and I'm so thankful to have been able to work alongside all of you. Now to my fellow Secretariat members. Thank you. Thank you to Jogu for your care towards everyone here. I know my demands weren't always easy to meet, but thank you for consistently standing by my side. Pat Viella, who I've always looked up to, thank you for your friendship and guidance. It means the world to me. Kanata, whose enthusiasm is contagious. I could always count on you to be fulfilling anything and everything I needed. Thank you for preserving four days of incredible memories. And to Mariano, thank you. Thank you for always being on top of everything, working endless hours to ensure Brahman's success. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your dedication. But most importantly, thank you for your friendship. Despite our overly stressed nature, we can officially say that we've done it. And I am so proud of us. To Ms. Mari Martins, thank you for serving as my mentor. I know how much you do for all of us, and it doesn't go unnoticed. We've touched in each and every single person that comes into your life, and it's been an honor to work alongside you. Lastly, but no less importantly, thank you delegates for being here, for showing up. The magic of your committee rooms has captured us all, and my success today is owed to you. Beyond simply being all of you, Brahman 2024 also had the opportunity to touch those helped by Projeto Refugio. I'm proud to announce that we've officially re raised 7,810 reais to donate to Projeto Refugio. And as I wrap up here, I would now like to welcome our press corps director, Renata Castillo, to the stage for a few words. This year, we had a press corps like never before. Firstly, I'd like to send off a couple statistics so you have just as much of an idea of how much we've changed and how much we've innovated this year. Over the past year, we've had 50 plus posts on our feed. Over 140 stories were posted in comparison to the 20 we had on a yearly basis. We reached 4,500 accounts only this week with 3,600 of them not being followers. In the past year, we reached 72,700 different people on the internet. We had a 462% increase in contacting people from the year before and a 200% increase in engagement overall. We've had more pictures and videos than any of the past years, all of which have been uploaded to our website, to our Instagram. This is the most dedicated and enthusiastic press corps I have ever seen. We brought in a handful of new initiatives, all of which were incredibly innovative. We had the Brahman Day in the Life with Valing, Mariano, and Juhi and Anna, all of which we, I spent the day harassing for footage and interviews so we can document the hard work that goes behind making Brahman happen. We had the Learning with the Leadership Team initiative. 
uh, which were the most saved posts because people genuinely found them useful and we were able to transmit the knowledge and the dedication of the leadership team, which hopefully served as something efficient to help our delegates. We had the Brahman broadcast, live streaming almost every session. And for that, I sincerely thank Mateos and Oscar for helping us reach more people with the incredible debates and the interviews and the opinions of the delegates here. We also had the Brahman daily highlights, which recapped the entire day through reels. Overall, I could not be more thankful for the collaboration of absolutely everyone on the leadership team, all the staff, the advisors, all the delegates who participated in the interviews for your help. But most importantly, I would like to present and thank the Press Corps leadership team. Ana Machado, our head of multimedia, Mushe Kumalu, our head of social media, and Juliana Wang, our head of journalism. I would now like to invite them here to present the press awards. Hi, everyone. So, Outstanding Delegation Multimedia Award goes to Sofia Munoz. Yeah. The outstanding delegation for journalism is Gustavo de Sá. And the best delegation for Press Corps goes to Sergio Gabarato. Now, uh, one of the last legacies of the press for Brahman 2024 is our conference video. Thank you to all the multimedia delegates who helped me gather videos for this. Delegates, chairs, secretariat, and advisors, standing here before you, as this edition of Brahman comes to a close, I can't help but to reflect on Ms. Mariana Marchin's opening words and her question, what is Model UN? Well, I don't think I've found a definitive answer to this question yet. Watching delegates during this conference has given me a newfound appreciation for it. It's been, of course, a privilege and an honor to watch the insightful debates, special committees, and the captivating and innovative 
effective approaches the delegates have taken. In the French Revolution Committee, I've watched delegates pouring through evidence, trying to embody the perspective of these historical figures, seeking not only diplomacy, but also exploring the core of what is justice. Certainly one of the most innovative committee structures I've ever seen, and I'd like to congratulate the Belmarchings and the Eduardo Castillo for their hard work in creating it. The crises of the Florentine Signoria were extraordinarily innovative and entertaining, and not just because Mariano got to bless multiple delegates. I have to admit that I had so much fun being a guest speaker in this committee, speaking on behalf of the Pope and even embodying the voice of God. Gabriela Linares and Nicole Hayes did an outstanding job in organizing this committee and vividly bringing to life this fascinating period of time. President Woodrow Wilson's committee was also exceptional in crafting their debates. Gabriela Sauci and Manuela Grimaldi were amazing in creating last-minute crises, holding hearings, establishing an extremely well-organized committee. Everything about the committee was so thoughtful, from the study guides to the pieces of evidence presented. I've heard nothing but compliments about the Communist Party of the Soviet Union's committee and its delegates. Tackling another fascinating historical time frame, delegates had the incredible opportunity of rewriting history as the Union of Sovereign States and the Union of Socialist Republics came together to organize a ceasefire in their conflict. I'd like to thank Santiago Ituhi and Lucas Botelho for their initiative and independence throughout this process. Finally, the futuristic standing body of science and technology was a committee with one of the most innovative and interesting premises I've ever seen. I know that Alicia Guetta and Arturo O'Donnell worked tirelessly to create the committee, establishing everything from the fictional timeline to create an almost 60 page long study guide. And despite challenges such as an alien invasion, I'm sure that delegates succeeded in learning a lot about the ethical considerations of these technological innovations. All of this brings me back to the core question and to my answer, or lack thereof, the question, what is Model UN? To me, above everything, at its core, it's the impressive and tireless voluntary contributions of all these individuals sitting on the stage and a few delegates for a greater purpose. I've been asked by delegates if we get paid to take on these positions at the conference. And believe it or not, despite our hard work and our exhaustive running around, we do this for fun. We do this because we love it. I recall talking to Valin and Hafa during this conference and reflecting on how we've all been influenced by the previous conference leaders, our previous chairs, and other delegates. And today, I would like to thank everyone for the amazing opportunity to also be able to somehow influence a new generation of delegates and chairs. Right now, above all, I feel an immense sense of gratitude, a gratitude to the entire leadership team, Valentina, Mariano, Rafaela, Hinata, a gratitude to every single chair, and a gratitude to Ms. Maddie Marchings and all the advisors who helped us so much through this process. Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. None of this would be possible without you. And I know... And I know that you are all very excited for the awards, so now I'll be calling on the chairs of Special Committee 5 to introduce them. So, after a long discussion on whether we should genetically modify humans, take over Mars, and if the aliens who invaded our committee should be allowed to take over both the UN and Earth, we have finally come to an end. After these four days out of all the incredible delegates on our committee, three of them showed how much they really deserve these award. But before we, be be we begin, we wish to verbally commend two delegates who stood out from the rest by constantly raising their placards to ask points of information or to be first in line for a speech. Congratulations to the delegation of Japan and the delegation of China for your amazing efforts. Now, for the Outstanding Delegation Award, we'd like to congratulate a delegate who has surprised us all by showcasing remarkable expertise in traditional geopolitical matters, but has also astounded us with their adeptness in navigating extraterrestrial diplomacy. As representative of the alien nation, faced with an unjust accusation of the violation of human rights, this delegate left the committee baffled by simply responding, but I am not human. 
It is safe to say that the chairs of the futuristic standing body of science and technology cannot believe that this delegate who is always showing a blend of wit and insight is a first time delegate. We are glad to announce that the outstanding, de outstanding delegation award goes to the delegation of Saudi Arabia. As we all know, effective communication is crucial in both the human and extraterrestrial realm of diplomacy. The next award will go to a delegate that we have seen grow throughout the conference, learning to master their speech and think quickly on their feet. This delegate has also managed to easily respond to crisis, even when he was forcibly split from his fateful ally, Ukraine. Due to their compelling speeches and several POIs, it is with great pleasure that we present the best speaker award to the delegation of Russia. Congratulations. Now, for the award we've all been waiting for, the futuristic standing body decided to present this to a delegate that from day one has displayed immense knowledge on the topic, suggesting sustainable ways to colonize Mars through terraforming and pointing out the clear implications of the genetic modification of humans. As a peaceful country, this delegation was not expecting being the, to be the one to declare war on the whole earth during a crisis. Having to reform their country's stance in mere minutes, this delegation managed to show its multifaceted approach to the topic, its ability to debate any subject, and the delegation's ease to adapt to any situation. Their speeches were eloquent and captivating, garnering the attention of all delegates in the committee room. Due to the delegates' combination of profound topic knowledge and their excellent speaking skills, they have more than earned the best delegation award. Congratulations, delegation of Sweden. Hello everyone, I'd like to begin with the Outstanding, outstanding Delegation Award. The moment I read this delegate's presentation, I knew there were great things that and he did not disappoint. From his never-ending bank of well-researched information, for his constant effort and thirst for for his growth throughout the committee, I am proud to present the Outstanding Delegation of Antonio Wuzen, the delegation of Stanislav Shushkevich. Delegates, just keep in mind, go to the photo area to receive. Um, out, now I'd like to present the best speaker award. This delegate speaking was consistently high quality, not, never failing to present a comfortably flowing stream of arguments. And out of the 20 plus POIs he made throughout the committee, or the numerous speeches he gave. It is with great pride and pleasure that I welcome this impressive and terrific delegate, Thiago Junqueira Franco, the delegation of Edgar Savisa. Finally, the best delegate award. This delegate constantly filled his chair with pride and surprise throughout, this, throughout his numerous speeches. Despite this, however, he did not monopolize the debate. The best delegate for the Communist Party of the USSR Committee was to the representative because of his consideration, control, and impressive understanding of the flow, as well as organization. With this, I'm happy to present the award to Juan Gonsalves Orch. The delegation of Mikhail Gorbachev. Thank you. Hello all, in my last Brahman and Manu's last Brahman, we're beyond honor and grateful to say that we shared the Woodrow Wilson U.S. Senate with countless requests for congressional hearings, motions for filibusters, and almost even impeaching the president. The U.S. Senate was truly so fun for Manu and I. The U.S. 
uh, our senators were so passionate for government and history, and will never forget our politicians as we end our MUN career. We'd first like to ver verbally commendate Mr. Lodge, represented by Isabella Wiedemann, and Mr. Curtis, represented by Pedro Couto, for their incredible contributions to our committee. Now, for the outstanding award, the senator left us speechless from the moment we read their position. They constantly sustained their argument with evidence and proved to the other senators that they were a leader to follow, using US government technical terms and concepts with confidence and tranquility. Our outstanding award goes to Senator Norris, represented by Isa Taranto. For the best speaker award, the senator kept the chairs on their toes, always mentioning how to clarify points and enlighten the other senators on how the technicalities within the Senate. He changed the way our senators viewed the topics at hand and elevated the energy of debate. The best speaker awards goes to Senator Bankhead, represented by Gustavo Tefili. <laughs> Lastly, for, for our last award, this senator has showed impressive and extensive knowledge of the topics discussed. They have impressed us significantly, significantly with their use of procedure and the quality of their speech. Manu chaired this delegate in his first MUN, and it was beyond gratifying to see such improvement. The best delegate award goes to Senator Cummins, represented by Summon Lee. Over the last few days, I've had the honor of sharing the Florentine Senate on a delegates drove the last few days and spun. Proud of all of you. For all your tireless dedication, for enthusiasm for every crisis we for to all of you for my last time you I have to say, the lively committee I've been a part of. I hope you all of you follow my passion for debate. have throughout my last seven years. Now, with the party of all been waiting, Firstly, we'd like to represent the delegates Antonio Maffei, by Bruno Maciel, Bianca de Medici, represented by Ana Patay Carovic. Now, for our outstanding delegation, we'd like to congratulate the delegates for our very first session that loyalty to the Allied and Swiss values, and being baptized by the Pope himself during our committee session. Congratulations to Lorenzo de Medici, represented by David Mota from Paris. Adieu. For our best speaker, we'd like to award the delegates whose point and outstanding oratory skills always have surprised us. The quality of your words and speech, despite the numerous crises which came your way, certainly were appreciated by the chair. Congratulations to Elmo de Pazzi, represented by Caio Knut from the British College of Brazil. Now for our best delegation. The delegate impressed us from the very first moment they started speaking. Their passion, eloquence, and commitment to their cause, raising their placards at every single moment, was evident to all those who attended our committee. Congratulations to Francesco De Pazzi, represented by Giovanna Muzzi from the ABA. Hi everyone, firstly I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all the delegates of the French Revolution Trials Committee. Thank you for your kindness, warmth, and for making my last sharing experience so memorable. Thank you for your commitment to embracing mine and Duda's idea for embodying true advocacy. I would also like to acknowledge the best co-chair I've ever had. This wouldn't have been possible without you. Before announcing the awards, I do have to announce that the judges have reached the final verdict. After careful deliberation, the judges have found both King and Maximilien Robespierre guilty.
we would like to verbally commend two outstanding delegates whose bravery and diplomacy stood out. Congratulations to the delegations of Napoleon Bonaparte. Good afternoon, delegates, chairs, guests, and advisors. What an has been. If I were to define my words connected, collective, aside from the usual rush um, of dealing with delegates needing rice or lost luggage, I had the opportunity to watch some incredible debate where I reflected on how much all of this means to me connected with you guys, whether it was transforming into a Martian alien or King Louis XVI or the US Secretary of War or a member of the Supreme Court or the German president. To me, MUN is all about people. People who you connect to and people who make you reflect, change better. And so as my last Brahman and also my last MUN conference, I would like to close this chapter of my life by expressing my gratitude towards the people who have been a part of this journey with me. And of course, I worked with so closely throughout my last Brahman conference. Valen, Renata, Mariano, and Diogo were brilliant people and so fun to work with. You have made such a huge difference in how I experienced MUN, and you really unforgettably marked Brahman forever. The entire leadership team, so expert and knowledgeable. I wish you all of the success in your future endeavors, and I hope we can all work together again in the future. I would like to especially commend two chairs that have stood out throughout the conference, Maria and Eduardo, for their kindness, bravery, and professionalism when dealing with unforeseen circumstances. You represent Brahman beautifully, and your diligent work should I'd like to thank the advisors for giving me the opportunity and the honor to work alongside this amazing people and together with Global Attitude for their support throughout the conference. I'd also like to especially thank my family, my mom. My name is Juhi Kim, the head chair of the political committee. And alongside my incredible co-chair, Julia, we have had the honor to work with amazing delegates in the enriching past four days. We couldn't be any prouder of your dedication and improvements throughout the committee sessions. Thank you all for your hard work. I don't want to take too much of your time, but I did want to make sure that all of our delegates know how immensely proud we are of your efforts. Now, we will be presenting the long-awaited awards for POCO. First, I would like to announce the verbal commendations. Delegations have, great, have had great participation in public speaking, points of information, and overall diplomacy. Congratulations to the delegation of Algeria and Germany. Thank you for your amazing contribution to our committee.
Now we'll be presenting the outstanding delegation feedback session. They came to every feedback session and have implemented every suggestion provided, making them have a huge improvement in their discussion skills. With that, I wish to call the delegation of UK to get your awards. Congratulations, delegates. The second outstanding delegation award goes to a delegate that has been incredibly diplomatic through all their speeches, QIs, during unmoderated caucus, and even during a hectic crisis. Their decorum in every situation was recognized, and I am so proud to announce that this award goes to the delegation of the People's Republic of China. Congratulations, delegate. Please come up to receive your award. This next award that would be presented was very hard for us to decide, but in the end, it was clear that this delegation deserved the Best Speaker Award. Ever since their opening speech, we were very impressed with their amazing vocalization and their constant eloquence in their speeches and QIs. This delegation was very well prepared for debate and have truly flourished in our discussion. I am the most proud to present this award to the delegation of the USA. Please come receive your award. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, Best Delegation Award. From the moment we read their very well-written position paper, we knew that this delegation would thrive in our committee. Overall, this delegation were, was more than prepared to shine during debate. At every moment possible, making passionate speeches and points and amazing diplomacy, it is my biggest honor to present the Republic. Congratulations. Um, hello, everyone. So, on journey, I could not have asked for a better conference. All of you have a bright future ahead. And thank you to everyone that's been part of this journey. It was an unforgettable ride. A special thanks to you, this amazing secretariat, our advisors, and my amazing co-chair, Luisa Bravo. Firstly, I would like to verbally command the delegation of Pakistan, represented by Pedro Moreira Salish and Luka Wajijish, Despite the young age, you have shown so much diplomacy and respect towards the other delegations. It really did impress me since your first speech, and I'm sure that your future in MUN is going to be amazing, so make the most of it. Now, moving on to the awards. Our outstanding delegations are no less than some of the best delegates I have ever seen. The delegation of Russia, represented by Nicolas Bajin and Arthur Silva, and the delegation of Mexico, represented by Julia Santana, Ribeiro, and Malu Coelho. Both have shown exceptional talent. Your efforts did not go unnoticed, and you should be proud. It is with grant the Best Speaker Award to the delegation of the United States of America, represented by Vitor Martolome and Mariana Henrique. May you continue to use your voice to advocate posi positive change and to inspire those around you to engage in meaningful discourse for a better future. Friendship and determination will definitely 